Hello, welcome to Straight No Chaser Tarot. Today I will be doing a reading for the zodiac sign of Leo. I'm going to pull a card from my oracle deck first and then I will get into the tarot part of the reading. If if you if this message resonates with you, please give me a like and a subscribe. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Let's get to it. So, so the card that I'm pulling for for you today from my Oracle deck of inner peace is the number nine. And it says, express yourself creatively, start something new. What creative pursuit do you feel drawn to? So let me um, go to that page. Mm, just a moment. Express yourself creatively. Start something new. You pull this card because what is no longer supporting your growth. So leave it behind and step into the new. This is a great opportunity to focus your attention not on what is fell, falling away, but on the newness trying to emerge. What do you want for your future? What do you want to explore in your life adventure? The magic of new beginnings surrounds you, and it is right with possibilities. Is there a project or idea that keeps coming back to you? Dust off the old ideas and bring them to life again. Does a book idea want to come to life? Do you want to get into a new hobby, take a class, or enroll in a program? Can you revisit an old project or start something brand new? Let yourself be drawn to the creative process. Don't worry about the outcome. Simply give yourself the gift of being one with your creative endeavors and do it for the joy. The action of starting something brings your power back to the present moment, which creates a more balanced life. Um, divine assignment for today. To be human is to be a creator. Human beings are always creating whether it is new ideas new relationships, new opportunities to things or tangible projects and products. To be alive is to be a creator. It's possible that part of your anxiety or apprehension is because you have stopped creating. Use this opportunity to dive back into the creative process. We need to explore, experiment, and expand our consciousness with activities, projects, and ideas. What you want is possible when you allow yourself to dream into the empty space between where you were and where you want to be. Use this time to believe fully in yourself and the creative pursuits you feel drawn to. Life is a circular evolution where everything is connected. When something ends, it is the birth of beautiful new awareness and possibility. Use this time to create. Questions to ask. What do I want to create? How can I create with more intention? So that concludes my reading of, of the Oracle message for Leo. Now I'm going to jump into the relationship spread. So the first question that I'll be answering today is um, is how you view your partner. So 
the Fool, and the Eight of Wands is the way you view your partner. So, the Fool represents air and the planet Uranus. The fool is someone who is willing to take chances, who have a lot of curiosity, and who isn't concerned about about um, what else or is worry about things not working out. They're just, uh, the fool is full of life and willing to take chances. So it looks like you feel like your the person your person is someone who who likes action and ha and like to do things quickly they don't um your person don't like to sit back and do a lot of thinking and planning um, your person is the kind of person who like to take a chance, like to take chances and see what's out there. And so that's how you view your partner. Now, how your partner views you. I have here the Queen of Cups and the Hermit. So so your partner feel like you as a kind person, a good-hearted person who is compassionate and loving. And he and your partner feel like, or the person most on your mind, feel like you as a person who likes having time to yourself to ponder and contemplate about 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 life now we're going to look at your needs in this relationship so i have the the devil and I have the Five of Pentacles. So it looks like it looks like you could be feeling feeling it looks like you would like to feel more secure and Looks like you would like to feel more secure in the relationship.
and you don't and you don't want to feel like you are controlled you want to have more freedom and and you would like for your and you would like to feel more freedom and abundantment in the in a bin I mean I'm sorry not abundantment but you would like to feel more freedom and feel like and would like to be able to do more things in the relationship and don't feel as a sense so much a sense of restriction you might feel like your 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 person is too controlling and you would like for your person to not feel such a need to control and restrict you Now, your partner needs at this time is the Empress and the, the Seven of Cups. So your partner your partner needs in this relationship is to is to feel to feel more happiness and to feel more confident in making good decisions regarding your y'all connection now the current state of y'all relationship could be the emperor and um, the Queen of Wands energy. So, so the Queen of Wands is someone who has a lot of confidence, and the Emperor is someone who likes to be in control. So, one of you, one of you looks like one of you would like to feel more freedom in the relationship. 
one or both of you would like to feel more freedom in the relationship. And and don't feel and don't and don't feel the need to compete with each other. You both are, are strong people and you both probably have a tendency to to possibly to probably compete with each other in 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 little small ways and and that might be something that y'all need to start working on and realize that um your this, that your relationship is between two people who really love each other and care about each other and um there is no need to compete with each other about things that at the end of the end of the day is not very important so the oh, sorry about that y'all so the um the path that you would like your relationship to go is the tower and the 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 three of pentacles so it looks like it looks like you want to build you want your relationship to become stronger and to um, build it on a more solid foundation and that you would like for you and your person to work together and not And not focus on things that you feel a need to compete with each other. You want you and your person to to be willing to work with each other and to realize that you're both on the same team and that you need to build each other up and not be so competitive and um, so controlling in the relationship. Now, the path that your your person would like for your relationship to go is is temperance, and then the two of pentacles. So it looks like your 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 person would like for your relationship to be to be more calm and to be more balanced. And maybe not fight over things that don't mean that much. And so your partner also wants y'all to 
work as a team to build your relationship and cooperate with one another. So the things that you might want to look at in your relationship is the High Priestess and the Five of Wands. So what you and your person might need to look at is that that y'all shouldn't argue and fight over a lot of things that are that's not really important. Try to have more peace and try to and try to come at each other with a more with a more peaceful manner and not find things to nick you know not nitpick at each other and and trust in the relationship um if it's something that y'all both want Y'all got to learn to make better, better choices in what you argue about and pick, pick your battles more wisely. Don't just fight for the sake of fighting. So that is something that you... that you need to think about in your relationship in the outcome position I have the hangman and the three of wands So it looks like So it looks like you need to You need to be open and honest with each other. And try to make, and if the relationship is important to you, try to make decisions about, about each other's actions that is going to also support the relationship and not just you know doing things and not think about how your actions will e will affect each other so um I hope this um, reading has helped someone. If it resonated with you, please give me a like and a sus subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.